Oh, welcome to a new episode of Mage Iconics Metal Detecting. We're starting off with a nice buckle from probably 1800, something like that. It's a very, very, very nice find. We're on a World War II location, but as you can see, they dumped some other stuff here. And together with History Secrets. Hello, guys. Hello, Alamal. <laughs> so, yeah, very, very nice. Let's see what we can find. So this is the belt buckle, clean it up a little bit, um, as you can see it has the turning part here and I'm actually not quite sure uh, when they started making these, so I'm not sh quite sure how old it is, it might be a little bit younger than I thought initially, so let me know in the comments. Lol, found this crazy lid, <laughs> that's a uh, half glass, half aluminium I guess, or something similar yeah I'm just going to take it with me because it's funny cool next one so uh, the uh, last part it, uh, we do think it's a uh, part of a teapot like a uh, Jugend steel or Art Nouveau or something similar and uh, yeah it's great so third find of today is a coin. It's a 10 cents from the Netherlands, 1957. Uh, unfortunately, it's not silver, it's nickel. But all right, next one. And again, a Dutch coin, 25 cents from 1950. Love finding these, but I'm seriously doubting I'm going to a World War II site uh, very soon for part two. All right, next one. Hello and welcome to part two. Um, today I'm at the position where I suspect that the first world war broke out between Germany and Belgium. And I'm trying to find some evidence of it and uh, Let's see what we can find. The first find, however, is uh, only one uh, gilden, gilden, gilden. It's a Dutch coin from 1980. Not that old, but yeah, let's uh, check what we'll find next. And of course, if you're searching for World War I, you will find World War II. This is probably an American one, but I don't think I ever had such shallow engravings, but it says uh, TW. And this was Twin Cities Ordnance Plant, I guess. And you can only see the four, but this is probably 43 or 41, 42. So yeah, cool. Wow, awesome. Next one. Yeah, I'm still doubting if I have to change my name to Major Carnix Toy Detecting because I found another gone. Bang, bang, bang. So, yeah, it's uh, quite uh, okay. I'm not even close to the last one, but uh, all right, next one. The Frontier Ace Toy Gun. It's uh, from the 1960s. And yeah, I, I love finding them, but. Uh, Please give me a real one, yes, a real one. So I thought that the 50 cal might have been lucky, but uh, <laughs> just found uh, this uh, M1 carbine round. Well, oh, this is so astonishing, and I didn't even expect to find anything World War II related here. So uh, yeah, let's keep going on. And I found 12 of them, and uh, this is the Pile and looks amazing. Look at that! It's 12 cartridges from the M1 carabine, all from 43. At least the ones I cleaned. Uh, my hand is still hurting, so cleaning is uh, a bit tough. But uh, suck it. Oh, the next find is a five cent coin from the Netherlands, 1955. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, st I love finding these coins, but. Uh, Seems that it's a bit uh, difficult for me to find some older stuff. But yeah, it's alright, it's alright, I only need 10 years older. Come on, come on! Oh, would you have a look at this beauty! Wow, it's a uh, jewelry from for 
may be a cat that's for in the hair. I don't think it's silver, but it looks nice though. So yeah, very happy. Nice! It's a very nice hairpin. I love the design. I don't know from which period this is. Might not be that late because of the clip. Uh, unfortunately, I lost some more stones in the process. I don't think it's silver. Still don't think it's silver, but yeah, it looks great. Awesome find. Alright, and totally unexpected a musket ball. It's, it's really weird. I haven't found anything that's similar to this kind of color, but uh, yeah, I guess it's a musket ball. You can see the breaking point here. Wow, well, cool. Next one. The Dutch 5 euro cent. Pretty battered. So I found two of these red uh, shell casings. They say uh, WRA45AC, which is a uh, Winchester or Remington or something. It's a point forty-five. But uh, yeah, the only thing I can find is that they were produced during World War II. But uh, I don't know for sure if this is World War II. Let me know if you know. A really battered five cents from Belgium out of 2005. Mm. So these two parts I found separate from each other, but they actually are one. Um, so you can see this part fits on top of it. Uh, here are some numbers. Uh, I think this is zero counting back to six. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, if you know, uh, please leave me a comment. This is a part I found before uh, the edge of the Hurtgemalt, and uh, back then it was a drop weight for cleaning the rifle. And I suspect that this is the same. This unidentified button, I would say. As you can see, no markings on it. Maybe it's uh, modern. So I detected all the way back to my car. As you can see, it's like 10 meters away from us. And uh, yeah, my last find of today is uh, again, the 15th or 16th uh, M1 Garant shell casing. So the Second World War traces are here. I uh, hope you like this video, I hope you like my new format, please leave me a comment if you have something to say. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.